that time of year already unfortunately i wasn't able to record what i actually did but let me walk you over and show show you we got a storm rolling in which is why i wasn't able to record this so i just kind of wanted to get it done it's actually about 62 degrees but it's getting ready to rain this beehive is pretty active Bees are flying, obviously it's above 50. They're bringing in pollen. But this is one of my big hives. This is uh, currently one, two, three, four deeps and a medium tall. But what I ended up doing, I stuck another medium on top I went ahead and against probably my better judgment, I took the uh, top cover off and I went ahead and put a pollen patty in between the two parts there. Then I put a medium on and I went ahead and put a quart of uh, one to one sugar syrup. There wasn't really a lot of bees in the top. I didn't go down deeper. I didn't want to break the seal anywhere else, but I did take the top cover off so I could put a pollen patty in there. So I laid a pollen patty kind of in the front half here from left to right. So that way I could actually still put my uh, quart jar of syrup in there. So it's only February 7th and we just have been having a crazy winter. Generally this time of the year it's snowing or snow on the ground or it's very cold and it's 62 or 63 degrees today. And uh, the bees have been flying every time. Like we've had so much weather. You know they were flying in a lot in December. They were flying a lot in January. They've been flying a lot in February. You know it's the middle of January when I put a video up kind of like an oh my gosh. They're bringing in maple pollen already that was i think around the second week of january that's just crazy they're bringing in more pollen that's actually orange instead of yellow i just noticed that so there's another pollen they're bringing in i mean basically the earth and plants think that it's springtime in the first week of february it kind of has me worried i'm not going to joke with you because it would not take very much one really good cold hard cold spell and a lot of plants going to get killed that's kind of my worry then that's just going to make everything bad for the rest of the year but this hive is doing okay my other hives are doing okay too i haven't had any dead outs yet but i'm not holding my breath because it's not really spring yet all i'm really trying to do is get out get my bees taken care of this is a uh, VSH queen now that I've had. This hive, I started the year that I got cancer, so it's been about three years now. And uh, it does really well. Uh, pretty good, like the first... So this will be, the, I think, the start of the third year, but like the first year, it brought in enough honey for the hive to make it through winter it's always good a good sign with a new queen new bees new hive uh, i didn't have a lot of varroa mites and the second year uh the they actually swarmed on me but they did a queen replacement and that queen actually seemed to be better than the first one so i'm not really complaining too much about that and I think they swarmed on me last year too, if you want to know the truth. I think they actually swarmed on me twice last year. But they brought in two deeps and a medium of honey. And I simply, I had this weird feeling in the fall to not pull the honey off this hive. I don't know why I thought that way. But I just had this weird gut instinct and I'm pretty big on following my gut instinct. So I never pulled the honey off this hive. I think the one thing is, like the other hives I did pull the honey off of, and I think that my thinking was, there'll be so much honey on this hive, they'll make it through, so if I lose any of the other hives, because every year I lose 
generally I lose hives every year like everybody. But I want, you know, if this hive makes it, I can always make splits off of this one. It's a good queen. It's a good genetics. They've had low mite counts um, every year that I've had them. So that's the VSH queens. I got them from, at the time it was Kelly Bees Keeping. Now it's, or Kelly Bees here in Kentucky. Now it's called, uh, I done forgot, memory issues from the chemo and radiation still. Uh... Yeah, I, I can't remember who it is now. Whoever it was took over, bought out Kelly Bees. <laughs> but uh, anyways, just wanted to give a quick update. This is also the hive I generally always have in my videos because it's also the closest one to my house. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. And by the way, I know that um, a lot of people have been uh, I've, I've had a few people unsubscribe. I posted a couple of game videos and uh, people unsubscribed right after I posted those. So I created a new gaming channel. I'll leave that link in the description if you're interested in gaming. I'm not really that interested in gaming, but the gaming does help a lot with my cancer recovery, which is why I was kind of like posting them to my home setting about Ed Life. Uh, I don't know why people unsubscribed from those videos, but they did. Every time I uploaded a game video, I had people unsubscribe. And I don't have a lot of subscribers, so I need all the subscribers I can get and keep. But I do have some more um, homesteading videos coming up. Right now, you can go back in my over nearly 600 videos, and you can find out like what you should be doing for your gardens in February. Um... I ordered chickens, so I am going to go back to having chickens this year, and uh, we'll just keep on keeping on like we always do. Anyways, don't want to get off topic, just wanted to let you know there is home setting videos coming up. Bear with me. Still dealing with all this cancer, chemo and radiation recovery, and things are just much slower around here than what they normally are. Thanks for watching, folks.